Lions are one of your favorite creatures. This is the perfect time. Or a scar would now I see actually both male and female lions a little over here. They actually cohabitate in a typical pride. And in a typical pride of lions, females outnumber the males. Sometimes at a 10 to 1 ratio. They run the show, not him. Even though he is very large and very, very powerful, his main job is his presence. Should deter other male lions from making a move into his territory and threatening the cubs of his pride. Actually, both the male and female literally right next to each other there. Aren't they beautiful? How can they be biting so Just talking about that, they did it. Thanks, guys. Appreciate you. So, I usually ask for a show of hands, but you can just give me a yes or no. Was it not the coolest thing you've ever seen in your life? <laughs> yes, yes, it was. Yeah. No, that was amazing, of course. But uh, I usually ask people, and now I usually ask for a show of hands, but I won't really see you. Um, uh, did that really sound anything you thought a lion would sound like? Uh, typically, I, I get a lot to know. like this. This is actually a rare opportunity. Beautiful colors though. If you can't quite tell colors, that's kind of like an orange copper color. The white stripes go down the sides there. And you notice they all have horns. And those horns kind of slope backwards as an adaptation to avoid getting tangled up in trees and bushes. So they have to sprint away from a predator very quickly. Beautiful creatures of those broncos. Like I said, very rarely seen. That's actually a really, really good animal. Like I said, a black rhinoceros saying hi to each other. Hi. Black rhinos are typically antisocial creatures, so this is a, a rare friendly opportunity we're seeing here for them to say hi to each other. Now, black rhinos are massive, powerful creatures, almost 3,000 pounds. They can turn up almost 35 miles an hour. The horns you see there are not bones, like a lot of people think. It's a substance called keratin, and pretty similar to your hair and fingernails. We're all seeing on our immediate left hand side here about those rhinos, but also some sound of storks hanging out here in the water, and the sound of stork. Now, black rhinos like those are increasingly rare thousands of miles here in East Africa, and generally what we find here is a lot of flat open lands. It makes it pretty easy for animals to get on around here. So, animals like, where are you going? <laughs> Excuse me, you know you're not supposed to go up that way. Alright, I'm just going to jump by you here, but you know better. This big fella, literally straight ahead of us, is an eland, and the largest anthem species in all of Africa. Alright, I actually need to make a quick phone call here, folks. It's about 2,000 pounds of pure muscle that he left. He's the largest antelope species in all of Africa. In fact, he's so strong, he can jump 8 feet in the air from a standing position. No head start required, just 8 feet in the air. It's pretty incredible. By the water here. You know, we were, like I mentioned earlier, we don't want to talk about a lot of birds, but if I talk about these ones here, coming up on the left hand side, the greater flamingo. Greater flamingos are actually the largest of the flamingo family, but also the lightest pink. 
That being said, though, they don't start off pink. Flamingos hatch gray, and they turn pink by eating lots of brine shrimp. That's rich in a protein called beta carotene. It turns out they're pretty big colors. Now, you might notice a few of them are swilling their heads around in the water. It's sometimes upside down, too. That's a process and behavior called filter feeding. Uh, they have sets of organic filters set into their beaks there that filters out all the tiny brine shrimp, which is what they eat, and all the tiny plankton and things like that. It also filters out all the muck that they don't want to eat, that, you know, stuff that happens to uh, get into shared waterways. Now, I did mention a few animal group names earlier. Flamingos are actually no exception to that rule, and they have one of my personal favorite animal group names, known as a flamboyant of flamingos. Thank <laughs> you.